hey guys welcome back to the channel today we are doing a hair video i've not done these in a while and i decided to come on here to show you guys how i'm taking down my eight weeks not less braids yes i have had it in for like two months i've been wearing it out thankfully this headband has been coming to my rescue to cover the top of my hair as you can see it's very rough and i've had like a lot of growth in that eight weeks and of course i'm loving it i'm just hoping that i don't shed and break off <laughs> okay so basically let's just talk about the things you'll be needing so you'll be needing a scissors you'll be needing a rat tail comb you'll be needing your water you'll be needing detangling brush or comb you'll be needing hair bands and scrunchies as well um and of course leave-in conditioners and yeah i'm just going to pack my hair just so that i get started so usually i like to start with one strand at the back just so that i know how to cut it so oh i forgot to show you guys i'm also taking my course as i'm doing this because it's going to be a long journey okay so um i'm just taking one strand from the back and just trying to see okay where does my hair stop so it just helps me to know where to cut other braids from basically that's that's like what i'm doing so now i've done that um as you can see there's a clog of products at the top of the hair so i just take in my water squeeze it and also taking my um leave-in conditioner as well just so that it will give it some sleep and makes make it easy to you know melt that area basically so that it just like it's easy to detangle and i don't have to lose so much hair so that's why you need your water and your leave-in conditioner so i'm just i'm going to do the front again just so that you see clearly however i'm just doing this just so that i know how to cut the remaining parts of the hair once i've seen the length of my hair i just go in to cut other areas of the hair and yeah I just cut I'm just trying to show you guys like the length so now I'm done cutting it we are now going to start the loosening okay so I'm starting with the front just so that I show you guys what I'm doing so I'm using the rat tail comb to you know loosen it you can also use your fingers depending on what works for you and just making sure that I do it gently so at this point my friend was here so I was just having chit chat with her so you've seen me talking that's exactly what i was doing but yeah <laughs> so um this is how you want to make it easy and you know just be gentle when using your hair because you don't want like all your hair to fall off basically okay so now we are done with that front part as you can see there's the um clogged part of the hair with products and all that i'm just trying to go in with the comb to see if i can reduce it but then i realized no let's go in with our water first just so that it's moisturized and it's easy so after the water you want to let the water get in very well and then you go with your leave-in conditioner so once you put in your leave-in conditioner it's now very easy to remove so you want to use a leave-in conditioner that has sleep and that it's very easy to use to detangle see how easy it is like it just came off literally so you want to avoid combing this thing out because i know because you're not patient enough <laughs> you might want to just oh once i'm losing it use your comb and comb you will lose a lot of hair you guys after even after doing this i still lost like some hair just imagine if you don't now do it the amount of hair you're going to be losing because it's going to tangle a lot and you know you're just going to cut your hair a lot so yeah i'm just going to leave you guys to see how i you know continue to loosen it and yeah
if you plan to carry your braids for a long time it's important that you try to refresh it so by refreshing i mean like setting out days that you're going to wash your scalp so that your scalp is still like neat and you know looking great you also want to moisturize your um braids like as often as possible just so that your hair is not very dry and start breaking um to be honest i did didn't moisturize as often as i should and i believe it's one of the things that added to the breakage i experienced later on which i'll show you guys how much hair i lost in this video you would not believe it but then yes it's important to do that moisturize as often as you can and yeah you guys four hours later and i was only done with the other side <laughs> i was like today not today but yeah i now went to the second side for this second side i had to cut it again because now i sort of know how my hair you know looks like length and i just wanted to do this as fast as possible because i was already tired sleep was in my eye like this i was exhausted but yeah Voila, finally you guys i think i finished this hair around 11 p.m after starting like around 4 p.m thereabouts yeah and uh, hallelujah i finished but i was not happy with the way my hair looked it was breaking a lot um and as i said it was because i didn't moisturize as much as i could my hair was already weak and tired this is how much hair i lost so this is a mixture of shedding and breakage you guys and i also feel like my edges um i lost a lot of hair on my edges as well um yeah do i recommend it carrying your style for long especially like not less braids no i don't but yeah anyway thank you so much guys for watching i'm going to do the wash day routine video next so do make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss that video bye